All right, guys, the Owie Chaser. Part three at this awesome, awesome, awesomest, awesomest creek. And I mean, it's the awesomest. It's the awesomest, awesomest. All right, so the road's back there. I just come down there. I've come up here. I'm sitting on the rock for a bit. Just had a drink. Rang a couple of people. Just checking out the little rapids. The only thing is, when you sit near the creek, you can't um, you can't hear nothing there. And I remember this guy. His name's I don't know if he's a heard of him, guys. Oh man, this is a good spot. Hey, I love this place. Oh, this is my new favourite spot, guys. You got. I've been coming to Numbaba for two years, guys, and I've never been, I've never walked up this track. I need a kick in. I bet a lot of people have it. I used to just always go up that dirt road. And then down the other little creek. But anyway, I was listening to this guy. His name's Jack Casser. Now, Jack is an Aboriginal... I don't know, he's like a tracker now. He was a kid. He was a bit troubled in his younger years, but he's snapped out of it, and he's woke up to himself, and... Now he helps helps people out, but he's um he's actually if you're listening to the um I didn't know it was him actually, but him and his mates are the ones that tell the story of the um the Woi Woi Tip fires. Uh, he was there when that happened, guys. He said him and his mates, his mates actually they seen something hairy. He says right, but he he said he didn't. He only seen like a silhouette. Right, oh, but, but he goes something definitely happened. Anyway, what I was, oh, what was I going to tell you? I don't even know where I was going with that story. But anyway, he was saying like he'll stay out in the bush for two weeks, right, and live off whatever's out there, right. And he said by the second week, because he's been eating all the right foods that are alive, and <sighs> man, why am I getting eaten? Um, because I'm talking about food. Yeah, he was saying like he's eating natural plants, all this natural stuff. And when he's hunting and tracking for uh, animals, he's way quicker. He goes, I'm super fast. He goes, I'm twice as fast as what I normally am, guys. So looking at Jack, Jack Kassar, he's from Gosford, guys. And he's had a, he was, his mate was the one that rode in and told about the Woi Woi Firehands one. But um, there was something else I was going to say about him. I don't know, I can't remember. But yeah, so it started making me thinking, like, you know all animals, like even horses, they eat grass. They're bloody pretty quick. They're not eating a big rib fillet steak, guys. So maybe what he's saying, I'm actually going to start looking into what food you can eat in the bush. I really want to know what you can eat. Because I'd like to try it and just see that. I, I, I reckon to try it. It makes sense, guys. You think nature, if you're eating nature that hasn't been modified, hasn't been touched... You know, it's got to be good for you. And when that all goes through your system, man, you're going to be, you're, you're going to be like, um, feel right up, you know? Like, you're getting the best feel your body could possibly get because that's nature, man. It's got to be. The stuff we eat is just junk. I know it. I know that for a fact myself. I used to be fit once upon a time. I ain't no more. But it's sort of all like, it's making me think, you know? Because I've even heard of um, other people like that have gone green and all that with it, greeny sort of stuff. Um, they're all fitter, man. They haven't got any health problems, no guys. Well, I know the government's got to feed us, so they're going to make any that are just feed us. You've got to think of it like that. We're just we're, we're just little slaves, guys, in a little in a little tadpole. We're just here to keep the economy going, man. We're nobodies. We just go to work every day to buy that nice house and that nice car, but really, are you really happy? Think about it, are you really happy? I bet you're not. You'll, you'll say you are, but you're not. And you just sucked into it. I do it, man. I stop and come out and do this, guys. When I'm out here doing this, I'm loving it. I couldn't give a shit about nothing, man. This is just mad. I love stuff like this. Man, I've got my own business, guys. <laughs> it's not going very well because I keep stopping and stuff. I set myself broke a few times. But um, I don't even care no more. I'm back out here again now today. I'm loving it. And that's it. you got to do what you love, guys. Look at this. Look at this. I'm just sitting here on a rock. Look at that little water flowing. 
I know everyone's different. Anyway. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I was leading to. That's, mate, that's probably why Yowie's and that are so fast, man, guys. And so strong. Like, they obviously got good genes. And they come from... I'm going to try and get this name right. Gi Giant... Giant... Tyrannosaurus, whatever. That's where they're from, guys. I'm telling you now. I don't care what anyone says. I, I don't. I haven't got no facts. I just know that that's where they come from. Okay, they might have bred with humans. They probably did. I guarantee they did. They're like us. So we're gonna have more ones that look like humans. Um, why am I just filming a tree? I don't know. I should be filming a nice water. All right, let's go for a walk up this creek, guys. Oh, anyway, hang on. Let me finish my story because I never finished my stories, guys. I get sidetracked too much. So yeah, and then you, if you if if you already got good genes to start with, you're laughing. Do you know what I mean? So they've already got good genes from millions and millions of years ago when the animals just roamed the world and they were big giant giants. They're obviously a little bit smaller now because it's got to do with what food they eat makes them smaller. Blah blah blah. But I'm telling you now, we are the descendant from Jai Picastorus or whatever his name is, the giant. Eh? I'm telling you now, that's all he is. Don't forget, guys, we've got to make a new name for the Yowie. All right, let's go for a walk up the creek. Could I go on with crap, eh? I'm really excited today. All right, let's go. Now, guys, before we move off, I'm going to do a little scan. I've been here for a bit, talking. So one of these curious little Yowie Bigfoots are out here. They might go, what's he going about? He might just be hiding here. So I'm just going to have a quick look before we move along. Not that you're seeing, because he looks like a tree. All right, let's keep heading up. Let's head up the creek there, bro. Who likes creeks? You're gonna be sick of creeks today. You should be doing it's pretty hard to do but when you get to a good like pool I reckon of water I reckon you need a good pool like this where they can swim in maybe some that's running like that where they can drink out of and when you find those spots there's something up there look there's a bag and something up in the tree up there yeah places like that where there's a pool and good running water or the other way around you should then head into the bush, guys, I reckon. Because I reckon that they're, they're gonna need a place to um to wash. That's if they wash. And a place to drink. So good fresh they would know that running water's supposed to be alright for you, I think. Is that right? I don't know. No, actually. I've always told that. Never drink the water that's still. Alright, I'm gonna get through all this crap and we'll head up. Just gonna do a bit of a scan, guys. I gotta get a new name. So it looks like something goes up through there. I hope it's not gonna rain. That's me making noise. All right, let's move up. It's like the Rock of Australia, guys. Tell you what, this track needs to be walked along at night, I reckon. Even if you don't find them, it's going to be scary, man. I'm telling you. 
You're gonna be freaking out. Even that over there looks like it's all squashed down. Here's my new track. He's got a weird bend in it. How would that rock there get that hole in it, guys? Is something, is that just normal or what? I don't know. How we go with that, guys? That's the best seat in the house. That's a Yowie bus stop, guys. Well, the station's dig Yowieville. I'm gonna sit on that. I have to get my feet wet. Oh, that's nice and cold. Oh, the Yowie bus stop. Look at that. Get that in here. Little waterfall happening, guys. I want to come back as a yowie, just hang out in creeks and laugh at people like me running around looking for you. <laughs> That's probably what they did. That yowie probably, because they seen footprints, those guys. They probably ran up ahead and done a big number two on the rocks. Probably sat up in the bush and went, we'll see if they get it, see if they take my pool away, see if they sniff it. That's what they did, I reckon. What's that up by inside that tree? All right, let's keep going. Yeah, uh, what time's your next bus to Yowieville, guys? All right, let's keep going. You see what, these rocks, they're not very stable, guys. You need to see what you're walking on. Alright, I'm drunk. See that blue butterfly? It's really sick. I've seen one before. There he goes, he's away. Oh. Bit of ice skating, guys. Nearly got hurt. Big time. Let's have a look around. What's that thing going down there? Look. That water's clean. It's like a little monster. Alright, guys, I'll end this one. That's me water bottle, guys. Um. Same old story, guys. We had a sighting. Um, Yowie Bigfoot encounter. Go to my Facebook page, Yowie Chaser, guys. Leave me a story. If you want me to read it out on YouTube, it'll be on Yowie Bigfoot Hunters, guys. I've got two channels. One's for looking for Yowies, what I'm doing now. And the other one's for stories, guys. If you don't want your story read out, just tell me. But please still tell me about what happened. I need to know, guys. It helps me with my research. Thank you very much. Over and out. See you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, and thanks for the... I didn't thank the lady from the Cedarvale one on the Yowie Bigfoot Encounters. You just won't see this video for a while, but I forgot to thank you on the video. How rude is that? I'll leave him out. It's okay.